Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today we're going to talk about the built-in stabilization function. Let's say you have some shaky footage and you want it to be perfect. Here's what we're going to do. We've all been there. You're working on a project, you're reviewing the footage, and you realize something's wrong. Maybe your clip's a little too shaky, distorted, or the wrong size. Whatever the case may be, Final Cut has built-in tools to solve your problem. If any of your clips are distorted, Rolling shutter is usually the answer. Rolling shutter distortion typically happens when the camera or subject are moving at a high speed. So in this shot of a train, for example, everything is skewed a little bit diagonal. But if we apply rolling shutter, that fixes the distortion. In our example, we'll show you something a bit more exaggerated so the results are easier to see. Here's the original shot, recorded with an SLR camera showing how fast movements from side to side can really distort your subject. If you'd like to learn more about what rolling shutter is, check out our tutorial linked in the description below. The stabilization tool is a must. You have to learn how this works. Now we'll show you how to fix it. We'll select the clip, then navigate to the inspector on the top right. If the inspector isn't showing, Toggle this icon and select the Video Inspector icon. Scroll down to the bottom of the Inspector window and locate the Rolling Shutter effect. Select the checkbox and apply it to the clip. Then control the amount applied to our clip from None, Low, Medium, High, up to Extra High. Here's a comparison of Rolling Shutter applied at different values. The higher the rolling shutter value, the more it fixes the distortion. The downside is the more the rolling shutter value is increased, the more the footage seems to zoom in. To show you why this is, we'll simulate what the rolling shutter effect is doing. Essentially, it finds any frame that diverts from the average position and edits the position, rotation, scale, and distortion values to fix it. In this case, we can straighten these door handles back to normal. But this leaves a gap in the edges of the footage that we can only fix by scaling the image up. This is the reason why rolling shutter will look like it's zoomed in. Now imagine doing that for every frame. Thank the Final Cut gods that we have rolling shutter to fix our fast moving shots. Imagine the time that this is going to save you. We have another shot of our subject with a handheld camera. It's a little bit wobbly, so let's try using the built-in stabilization tool to steady the shot. It's similar to rolling shutter, but it targets the shakiness of the footage rather than any distortion. To apply it, we'll select the clip and navigate back to the video inspector. Select the checkbox next to stabilization to apply it and give Final Cut a moment to analyze the footage. Once the effect is applied, we'll be able to explore these controls a bit. Click on these drop-down arrows. At first, it will be set to automatic, which means it will choose between inertia cam or smooth cam based on its own analysis. So based on the controls, it applied the smooth cam correction, and it shows these settings for the clip. We can make adjustments to how much it applies corrections to the translation. Translation refers to any changes in position. So, this would help with shaking movements on the X and Y axes. We can also edit how much it corrects changes in rotation. And with scale, we can adjust how much it corrects changes for any Z axis movements. Here are the final corrections we've applied. And here's how it looks compared to the original. Like magic, it's stabilized. You can also try Inertia Cam, which is a stabilization method optimized for footage with camera moves, such as pans and zooms. We can adjust this slider for how much correction we want to apply. Here's how it looks with less smoothing. Or more smoothing. It's a better choice than Smooth Cam for this clip. Before we get to the next step, can we remind you to like, share, subscribe? Comment below, please and thank you. Tripod mode may or may not be available based on the amount of shakiness in the footage. 
the less shaky your footage, the more likely it is that tripod mode will be available. For example, in this squirrel clip, it's pretty stable despite the occasional sway. If we check tripod mode on, it can simulate the effect of a static camera mounted on a tripod. Just look how stable and smooth that result is. And here's one more last helpful tip. Have you ever had an iPhone video or other clip that's a different resolution than your project? Well, in just a couple of clicks, you can easily fit your clip into the project. Locate Spatial Conform at the bottom of the Video Inspector menu. If we choose Fit, the clip will be resized to fit the viewer without cropping the clip. Some blank areas may show on the edges if the ratios of the clip and the project don't match up. If we choose Fill, the clip will fill the entire viewer. But again, if the ratio does not match, some parts of the clip may get cut off. And None will leave the clip as its original resolution. If the clip resolution is greater than the project resolution, it will be cropped in the viewer. And on the flip side, if the clip's resolution was smaller than the project's resolution, blank areas will surround it in the viewer. Usually, Fit and Fill are the best time-saving choices for fitting your project nicely. Rolling Shutter, Stabilization, and Spatial Conform are epic time-saving tools when your footage needs a little bit of TLC. So if your cameraman's a little shaky or you didn't use a tripod, utilize the stabilization effect built in with Final Cut Pro. Final Cut Stabilization Tool might work, but if you'd like another stabilization option that doesn't distort your footage and lets you choose where to focus your shot, check out Pixel Film Studio's Stabilization Plugin, which you can find on our website, pixelfilmstudios.com. And that was our latest episode of Final Cut Pro Tutorials. Hopefully you enjoyed them and we can't wait to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, anything you can do to spread the word.